shiny friends if you see here I have a piece of stock paper and I'm just folding it in half then I'm going to fold it again because I'm actually using this to make more than one card so I'm just going to use my scissors and clip along the line here and you can do the same this could be done for any holiday birthday or even Mother's Day these cards were made for Valentine's Day, so I just put a simple heart on them. But if you're doing for, say, Mother's Day, you could do just a simple flower or a butterfly. Or if you're even venturing out to make a card for, you know, someone's birthday, you could do a simple cake or a cupcake, balloons. And if you have trouble coming up with ideas to, you know, go by of what would be good to put on the card or say you want to do a cake and you're not real familiar with how you should do it you know just do a simple google search and type in cake illustration or if you want to do a butterfly type in butterfly illustration and then you will see images come up and you can click and get ideas um you know to where you make it your own it's you're not into making it look like those actual images that you see so for me here, I'm continuing this heart out just using a simple white and a red card. Like I said, I actually made this one for Valentine's Day time. I do love buying cards in the store, but there comes a time, you know, that you've maybe either ran out of time or you just don't want to put the extra money into, say, a $5 card um, and spend that money. So here I'm fixing to use some glitter that I had on hand and notice that I did this while the paint is still wet. So I sprinkled the amount that I thought that I wanted on there. And I kind of stood it up and you know knocked some of the uh, extra loose off. So I'm moving on to a different one and you'll see that I'm gonna do it a little different. I did the glitter for my daughter per se but now I'm working on one that will actually be for my husband, so I'm not going to put glitter on his. And moving back to if you are trying to create a card for, you know, any holiday or event, birthday, even a wedding that's coming up. Handmade cards, are, they're a lot more meaningful, and I promise you don't have to be like someone who's done this long term or have these top-notch skills. The, the biggest thing is just doing it. So if you have some, you know, heavy paper that's around, if it's fitting for a color for what the event is that you're trying to do it for, or even if you just simply have white paper, or I've even used note cards before. I really have enjoyed this method through the years. Like I said, I still do buy cards from time to time. I actually love cards. I love the Hallmark, the Hallmark store. So... I just try to, you know, make use of my time and my resources when events come up because we always end up running out of time and, you know, feel so pressed that like, oh, we've got to do all this. So now I am going to close the white paint up. I'm going to hunt up a pen. I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do here. So, you know, you really can't go wrong. Um, and you don't even have to have any big fancy supplies. See, that's just a simple pen that I've decided to use. And I'm basically just going to outline the hearts. And I chose to go with this heart first just because it was the first one I did. And I felt like the paint would probably be somewhat dry. And I just kind of outline and go around the edges 
and if I were doing this and somehow or another my line didn't end up just the way I wanted or something or I felt like I messed up I wouldn't consider it a mess up I would just simply go around it again and even though this paint is still a little damp here I'm gonna go ahead and go around it just because you know time wise I need to move forward So I'm going to add a little extra effect to his. And put in a little arrow through it. And these are ideas that I just came with off the top of my head. But like I said, a lot of the time whenever I'm working or trying to get ideas, I do a lot of Google search for, you know, whatever you know, picture I'm trying to come up with to get ideas. And there you have it. And now moving on in to you can see the spread of my cards made and I actually wrote a note in the inside. So I hope you have a wonderful time viewing this. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I also would like to know if you have made a personal card. So I hope you have a wonderful day and remember to stay shiny.